How China's one small step could be a giant leap for humanity. The Asian giant has inched closer towards creating an artificial sun. In a world where nations compete to push the boundaries of scientific achievement, one country stands at the forefront, ready to leave the world in awe. Although other countries have either attempted to create or are still planning for this masterpiece, China has taken a big step in the scientific revolution. China's artificial sun has changed into a monumental creation that's fast reshaping the future of energy and how we perceive human wisdom. How did they achieve this feat? What message does it hold? Join us as we delve into how China launched its artificial sun and proved its technological power. China has launched the first man-made sun. China, known for its innovative power, has shocked the world by successfully creating a replica of the sun using nuclear technology. The idea seems impossible, but this strange development raises concerns about China's ability to deal with the potential consequences of things going wrong. To understand the significance of this achievement, one must know the remarkable process of being at the center of the sun. The sun is a huge celestial body containing unlimited atoms. Its vast mass creates incredible gravitational forces and huge pressure, which in turn leads to a fascinating phenomenon known as nuclear fusion. In this process, atoms of hydrogen fuse, resulting in an indescribable reaction that produces large amounts of light and heat and releases helium. Fusion is considered the holy grail. One of the important aspects of fusion is its potential as an environmentally friendly energy source. Unlike the fission method used in nuclear power plants and weapons, fusion does not produce radioactive waste. The hydrogen element for nuclear fusion can be easily obtained from hot and heavy lithium water. Scientists worldwide see fusion as an endless and sustainable energy source for the future. Because it produces no greenhouse gases, it promises to transform our world today by making fossil fuels irrelevant and reducing energy costs. This could have a major impact on the export of petroleum products or liquefied natural gas as the merger presents a huge challenge to their existing systems. As a result, countries are competing to create an artificial sun using nuclear fusion. The United States, China, and Russia are leading the way in fusion resource allocation. Research governments, strategic investors, and scientists are working tirelessly to provide even more energy and clean energy for the future. However, integration is incredibly difficult and expensive to achieve. The total estimated cost of the Global International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor Initiative is $22.5 billion. The process can occur naturally in the sun, but observing stable amalgamation on Earth is the major challenge. The size of the sun is approximately 1.3 million times larger than that of the Earth, making it impossible to reproduce its gravitational forces. Also, the melting process occurs in the sun's core at a burning temperature of 15 million degrees Celsius. Scientists face many instructions in their search for atomic integration energy because they must create the pressure and heat needed to fuse hydrogen and hold it together using magnetic fields. This process also requires considerable experimentation continuous trial and error, and the separation of turbulent molten plasma. In addition, achieving integration on Earth will require raising the temperature to several hundred million degrees Celsius, requiring stronger magnetic insulation and greater power input. In this league, China and Russia are leading the pack. For many countries, it's a matter of critical national security, and the development of fusion technology is highly classified. The American team led by Commonwealth Fusion Systems aims to achieve net energy by 2025, showing its unwavering commitment to success, unveiling China's man-made sun. On December 14th, the Southwest Institute of Physics, SWIPE of the China National Nuclear Corporation, CNNC in Cataraché, France, signed an agreement with the headquarters of the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITIR, and announced that the Chinese self-developed Huanlu-3, a new generation artificial sun, was open to the global community. 
they invited scientists worldwide to come to China and work together to achieve the dream of an artificial sun. ITER, Director General Pietro Barabashi, ITER, Deputy Director General Luo DeLong, ITER, Deputy Director General Science and Technology Yutaka Kamada, and Seiwipe, Director Liu Ye represented both sides at signing the contract agreement. NHL-3 is currently China's largest scientific nuclear fusion device, with the largest design parameters, also known as China's new generation artificial sun. In August 2023, HL-3 performed a high isolation operation with a 1 million amperes plasma current, demonstrating the world-class and technical challenges of China's magnetically sealed nuclear fusion device. It has accumulated extensive experience in constructing, debugging, operating, and maintaining fusion equipment, providing a solid foundation for China to adopt internationally advanced technology and build its fusion reactors. Due to the similarity of experimental principles, China's HL3 will allow ITER to focus on technical issues, strengthen China's R&D capacity, and promote talent. ITER General Director Pietro Barabashi expressed his expectation that China's HL3 will be a forward-looking global open platform and present the innovations and challenges of the ITER project. He also emphasized the long-term and strong cooperation between ITER and SWIP, saying that the two sides can strengthen cooperation in relevant science and technology fields based on the implementation agreement to deepen strategic cooperation and promote the development of global fusion efforts. Nuclear-powered Sun, China, a relative newcomer to the competition for achieving this man-made nuclear energy, is a strong competitor that prioritizes energy development and is already competing with Russia. On December 4, 2020, China reached a significant milestone by activating its artificial sun with a continuously upgraded Russian reactor, the Eastern or Artificial Sun of the experimental advanced superconducting tokamak. The donut-shaped isolation chamber uses a large field and contains three transformable budget designs. It costs about 280 million Chinese yuan, which is equivalent to about $37 million. Since its inception, the International Development Association has made significant progress. China achieved its first plasma in 2006, and over the years, it has broken several world records for plasma duration and temperature. China's commitment to fusion technology goes even further. It works with the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor and 35 other countries. China aims to activate its artificial sun in 2025, but it has already conducted tests with its integration setup. China's achievement of creating the Steady State Guides 23231A and 2321 marks a historic stage in nuclear research that will last forever. The development of fusion energy is crucial for China's strategic energy needs and the sustainable development of its power and national economy. HL's 2M tokamak setups are China's most advanced fusion experimental research facility. They melt hot plasma using a strong magnetic field and could potentially unlock a more powerful source of recovered energy of 150,000 degrees Celsius, which is 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. Located in southwestern Sichuan province, it is often called the artificial sun due to its immense heat and power. Although China cooperates with the International Nuclear Test Reactor and other countries, the search for a profit-wise, beneficial fusion setup is still very individual. Fusion technology holds great promise and has the potential to change the power sector by making fossil fuels obsolete and lowering energy costs. Its impact can extend beyond Earth, and the promise of fusion technology is space travel. NASA has reported some success in small-scale integration production using grid solutions, new attachment methods, and conversions. These advances could provide alternative speed systems and open new ways for space adventures. Support for integration technology extends to influential figures, private companies, and strategic investors who recognize its potential. Billions of dollars have already been invested in private fusion projects and startups, ready to usher in a new era of clean and abundant energy, launching the artificial sun.
China's artificial sun set a world record by generating and maintaining extremely hot, highly confined plasma for nearly seven minutes. An experimental advanced superconducting tokamak, East, in the eastern Chinese city of Hefei, produced and maintained plasma for 403 seconds. It broke its previous record of 101 seconds in 2017 and marked a new step towards high-efficiency, low-cost fusion reactors. Song Yuntao, director of the Institute of Plasma Physics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, which built East, said the main significance of this breakthrough lies in its high-resolution mode, where the temperature and density of the plasma are significantly increased. State news agency Xinhua quoted Song as saying the work laid a strong foundation for improving fusion reactors' technical and economic feasibility. Fusion, the same process by which our sun produces light and heat, is considered a safe, clean, and almost limitless energy source. Scientists have worked for decades to develop artificial suns by heating hydrogen atoms to more than 100 million degrees Celsius and 180 million Fahrenheit and holding them long enough for them to fuse with heavier atoms, releasing huge amounts of energy in the process. EAST began operations in 2006 and is one of the most promising paths toward controlled nuclear fusion. It took over 120,000 attempts to reach the latest milestone. The Chinese government has established a new national industrial institute to develop and advance nuclear integration technology, the China National Nuclear Corporation, CNNC, which has been engaged in research and development construction, production, and operation activity related to nuclear power, the nuclear fuel cycle, nuclear applications, and environmental protection for approximately 23 years, is the leading consortium of China Fusion Energy, Inc. The Institute was founded to combine national resources and promote the advancement of fusion technology in China. This includes conducting preliminary research and development in large capacity energy storage, high temperature superconducting magnets, and tritium production. There are 25 participating organizations, most of which are government-owned research centers and businesses with experience in power building and other related fields. Some major companies are State Grid Corp, China Three Gorges Corp, China Baowu Steel Group Corp, and China Aerospace Science and Industry Corp. The project also involves one private company and four universities. Much of the project's technological know-how comes from research at CNNC's Southwest Institute of Physics and the Institute of Plasma Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. China has become increasingly interested in nuclear fusion. China's State Council recently announced that controlled nuclear fusion is the only direction of future energy, and this field is developing very rapidly in Europe and the United States. In this regard, the Chinese central government will pay more attention to the industry. The Chinese government has set a goal of building the first industrial prototype fusion reactor, an artificial sun. Officials hope to begin large-scale commercial fusion power generation by 2050. The consortium benefits from centralizing the Chinese corporate and government systems, which helps focus resources and coordinate activities. China has proven to be a major force in fusion technology. Between 2011 and 2022, China filed the most fusion technology patents. It has also reported on the progress of fusion research using the HL2M tokamak reactor at the Southwestern Institute of Physics in Chengdu and is involved in the 35-nation International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor Project, the development on the artificial sun. On Wednesday, a significant step toward the creation of a fusion reactor was made when the experimental advanced superconducting tokamak East, also known as the Chinese artificial sun, operated in a steady state high containment plasma for 403 seconds. The original world record of 101 seconds set by East in 2017 was significantly surpassed by the breakthrough made after more than 120,000 shots. The ultimate objective of EAST, housed at the Chinese Academy of Sciences Institute of Plasma Physics in Hefei, is to replicate the sun's nuclear fusion process by utilizing abundant materials in the sea to produce a constant flow of clean energy. 
The Chinese Artificial Sun, or Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, or EAST, ran in a steady-state high-confinement plasma for 403 seconds, marking a major advancement toward constructing a fusion reactor. The breakthrough, achieved after more than 120,000 shots, greatly outperformed the previous world record of 101 seconds, set by EAST in 2017. EAST's ultimate goal is to mimic the sun's nuclear fusion process by using materials abundant in the sea to generate a steady supply of clean energy. It is housed at Hefei's Chinese Academy of Sciences Institute of Plasma Physics, ASAP. In an exclusive interview with Xinhua, Song Yuntao, the director of ASAP, stated that the high confinement mode is the primary significance of his breakthrough. According to Yuntao, High control plasma operation has significantly raised the temperature and particle density, which will provide a strong basis for raising the future, cost effectiveness, and power generation efficiency of fusion power plants. Unlike limited, non renewable energy sources like coal, oil, and natural gas, which have a significant negative impact on the environment, the artificial sun needs nearly limitless raw materials from the Earth. Integration energy is regarded as the ultimate power for the future of humanity because it's safer and cleaner. The Chinese designed and developed EAST has been available as a test platform for Chinese and foreign scientists to perform fusion-related experiments and research since it opened for business in 2006. As the next generation of artificial sun, the engineering design of the China Fusion Engineering Test Reactor which aims to construct the world's first fusion demonstration reactor, is complete. Facts about this artificial sun. Xinhua reported that the device broke world records after maintaining a nuclear reaction at 70 million degrees Celsius and 158 million degrees Fahrenheit for more than 17 minutes. The artificial sun is a project called Experimental Advanced. The superconducting tokamak, EAST, is used at a research facility in Hefei, Anhui Province, China. Contrary to what the name might suggest or what fake Twitter videos would have you believe, EAST is not a floating ball of light launched into the sky. It is a donut-shaped reactor chamber with a strong magnetic field that captures heated plasma. This sun is not designed to produce light or heat, but a huge amount of pure energy that scientists hope to bring to cities. The EAST is nicknamed the artificial sun because the productive process known as nuclear fusion replicates the sun's physics. The process uses atomic nuclei to produce large amounts of electricity by combining hydrogen atoms to form helium. Before the East, Francis Torre Supra Tokamak held the world record for the longest plasma duration of all tokamak reactors in 2003, 6.5 minutes. South Korea's Korean superconducting tokamak advanced research K-STAR reactor held the world record in 2003, holding 50 million degrees Celsius and 90 million degrees Fahrenheit for 70 seconds. EAST broke K-STAR's record in 2021 by maintaining a temperature of about 119 million degrees Celsius and 16 million degrees Fahrenheit for 102 seconds. EAST also set another record in May 2021 running for 101 seconds at an unprecedented high of 120 million degrees Celsius and 16 million Fahrenheit. In contrast, the core of the real sun is about 15 million Celsius and 27 million Fahrenheit. Nuclear fusion produces no greenhouse gases and leaves no radioactive waste. Researchers from the Hefei Institute of Physical Sciences praised East's success in expanding the country's clean energy options. EAST is estimated to cost China more than $1 trillion by the end of the test in June 2021. This is part of the collaboration. The project, known as the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor in France, is designed to be the largest nuclear reactor in the world. In addition to China, 35 countries participated in the project including the entire European Union, the United Kingdom, India, and the United States. ITIR contains the most powerful magnet in the world, according to Live Science, 
which is capable of generating a magnetic field 280,000 times stronger. The global fusion reactor is expected to start in 2025. However, China is still in the east, and the country plans to have a new tokamak fusion device ready by the early 2030s. Other countries that have achieved this feat, Korea has reached a pioneering milestone by successfully creating an artificial sun known as K-Star, Korea Superconducting Tokamak Advanced Research. This remarkable artificial sunset is a new world record, reaching a burning temperature of 100 million degrees Celsius in an impressive 20 seconds. This achievement is the result of a collaboration between Korea's National Institute of Fusion Energy at Seoul University and Columbia University in the United States. It surpasses records from previous years and shows continued progress in the industry. In 2008, the artificial sun reached 100 million degrees but could maintain this level only for 1.5 seconds. Recent success significantly improved as the temperature remained 20 seconds longer. In this state, parts of atoms, ions, and electrons separate, resulting in extremely high temperatures. Scientists have created a miniature sun on Earth that provides valuable information about fundamental reactions, including those occurring on celestial bodies such as the Moon. Director of K-Star Research Center, Sai Wu Yun, emphasized the importance of this achievement in developing long-lasting and effective plasma surgery technology. This success is an important step towards developing a commercially viable fusion reactor in the future. Looking to the future, scientists have set ambitious goals and are actively working to achieve a 300-second ion temperature that could exceed 100 million degrees Celsius by 2025. The artificial sun is a possible future energy source, especially in regions with little sunlight such as the poles and other remote areas. However, the ultimate goal is to create a solar-like system capable of producing energy for the entire Earth. Dr. Columbia University's Young Shock Park expressed the honor of participating in this remarkable achievement and highlighted its transformative impact on KSTAR's development. This collaboration underlines the importance of pushing the limits of technology because advances in this field hold promise for the future. Optimism surrounds this achievement, recognizing it as an important step towards even greater achievements. The successful development of advanced technologies to harness solar energy opens promising opportunities for the future of energy production and fusion research. The creation of Korea's artificial sun, K-Star, which reaches a temperature of 100 million degrees in 20 seconds, is a major scientific milestone with profound implications for future energy technologies and nuclear fusion research. French President Emmanuel Macron and the leaders of the European Union, China, India, Japan, Korea, Russia, and the United States have announced the beginning of a new energy era as an assembly of the world's largest fusion device, ITER, officially begins in southern France. The machine of ITER, the world's largest scientific project, is assembled to reproduce the sun's fusion energy, which produces light and heat and enables life on Earth. The assembly phase of ITER can begin when components from the whole world arrive in the final months. This shows the willingness of the 35 partner countries of the International Research Project, ITER, to unite in the common fight against climate change permanently. Nuclear fusion provides clean, reliable energy with no carbon dioxide emissions. Thermonuclear is safe with small amounts of fuel and there is no physical possibility of melting. Fusion fuel is found in seawater and lithium. It is abundant enough to sustain humanity for millions of years. A pineapple-sized amount of this fuel is equivalent to 10,000 tons of coal. The cost of building and operating a fusion power plant is expected to be similar to that of a fission plant, but without the high cost and long time of waste disposal. Once completed, ITER should prove that fusion energy can be produced sustainably and commercially. The ITER project was born out of the promise of fusion. The 35 partner countries are the EU, except the United Kingdom and Switzerland, China, India, Japan, Korea, Russia, 
and the United States. Together, they represent more than 50% and more than 80% of the world's population, respectively. Of the world's GDP, these countries have combined their vast expertise and resources to build the first industrial-scale research fusion device. France is the host country. The European Union, the United Kingdom, and Switzerland are host members, financing 45% of ITER's costs. All other members, the United States, China, Japan, Russia, India, and Korea, contribute 9%. About 90% of ITER members' contributions are in-kind, adding an international spin to an already versatile machine called a tokamak. When completed, tokamak will consist of more than a million components. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has contributed around Rs 17,500 crore, reviewed this mega-project during his recently concluded trip to France. By contributing about 10% of the cost, India gets access to 100% of the technology. It is the most expensive mega science project in which India is involved, and globally, ITER is the most expensive science project ever undertaken in the 21st century. The total weight of the ITER reactor is about 28,000 tons. ITER researcher Dr. Mark Henderson said, This place is the coolest place on Earth because the sun will be here shortly. Earth's temperature is 150 million degrees Celsius, so it is the hottest place 10 times hotter than our sun. He says that 10 such fusion reactors could, by one calculation, meet all of Italy's energy needs. India contributed the largest part of the project, the world's largest refrigerator. This unique reactor was made in Gujarat by Larsen and Tubro. It weighs more than 3,800 tons and is almost half the size of the Kutba Minar. ITER principal investigator Dr. Tim Luce called India a valuable partner and said it produces key components such as the cryostat, possibly one of the world's largest thermos flasks. The project is eye-catching, and operations are expected to begin in 2025. Next, a full-scale power generation unit called the Demo Reactor is planned to be completed by 2040. Since the concept of tokamak magnetic fusion was first developed in the Soviet Union in the 1950s, Fusion research has been an area of extensive international cooperation. In recent months, gigantic first-class components began to arrive in France to prepare the machine's assembly, in many cases weighing several hundred tons and more than 15 meters long. The parts are the culmination of more than five years of production in factories, universities, and national laboratories worldwide. Tokamak components must meet very strict requirements and arrive in France on time, according to a complicated schedule. Dr. Bagot said that building a machine piece by piece is like putting together a three-dimensional puzzle on a complicated timeline. To work with a watch, all parts of project management, system design, risk management, and the logistics of assembling the machines must be done in Switzerland. He added that we have a difficult scenario for the next few years. At the end of this period, in December 2025, ITER scientists and engineers will launch FIRST Plasma, the first event to demonstrate the machine's functionality. The ITER facility produces approximately 500 megawatts of thermal power. If used continuously and connected to the grid, this would mean about 200 megawatts of electrical power, enough to power about 200,000 homes. A commercial merger with a slightly larger plasma chamber, 10, 15 times larger, is planned. Electric energy, for example, is a 2,000 megawatt fusion power plant that would power 2 million homes. Nuclear fusion power plants are carbon-free. They do not emit carbon dioxide. However, the usefulness of fusion in fighting climate change depends on how quickly these fusion plants are installed. More than 70% of carbon dioxide emissions come from energy use and more than 80% of energy consumption comes from fossil fuels. Dr. Bigots predicts that if fusion energy becomes a universal complement to renewable energy sources, electricity can be greatly expanded to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from transportation, buildings, and the sector. He adds that having clean energy is a miracle for our planet. What do you think about all these inventions? Leave your thoughts in the comment section, and while at it, also like, share, and subscribe for more exciting stories.